Even in a heavy downpour, the white storks continue their love games in their homes. Whenever they can, the pair return to the nests of previous years, repairing the damage caused by the rigours of winter. The result is enormous nests which sometimes end up as true blocks of flats occupied by sparrows, pigeons and starlings. Also inflamed by the passion of love. In order to repair and condition the place where they will raise their chicks, the storks make use of many different materials. And, on occasions, the work of others. They seem to find almost everything useful, an attitude which sometimes puts them in awkward, even deadly, situations. This stork will need hours to free itself from the string it has got tangled up in. The strings with which they pad their nests can also be a danger for their future chicks. Many of them are injured or even die because of them each year. glance at what these huge constructions contain give us an accurate clue as to where they have learned to get it. The white storks have become very knowledgeable of how we manage waste. Nowadays, the places where we process waste are an essential source of food and materials for both the storks and for many other birds. They are even able to interpret the arrival of a lorry as a new supply of food on which to pounce. These inexhaustible paradises of plenty for the storks have helped to increase their numbers and to change their migratory habits. Several thousand white storks choose not to spend the winter away from Extremadura, a region which values and cares for the winged residents which live in its villages and towns. In fact, it was the first region in Europe to create special protection areas for birds in urban environments. An environment which is favourable for so many reasons explains why, for example, Los Barrecos contains the largest colony of white storks in Europe nesting in rocks. They build their nests on the granite boulders which make this unique area a museum of sculptures carved by nature, although they also seem to appreciate the art created by humans.
The sculptures erected by the artist Wolf Vostel in Los Barrecos form an alliance with the stork's work and create unusual pieces where nature and art dialogue in harmony. Outside, the heat is becoming another serious threat for the young storks, which are living their first days on the roofs of the architectural treasures, which adorn Placentia and Catharis, a city declared a World Heritage Site. The parents cannot always stay in the nest giving them shade. They need to go out in search of food and water for themselves and their young. It is an absence which becomes more distressing for the chicks the longer they spend beneath the scorching sun. Something mysterious and magical is happening in the fields of Extremadura to announce the end of summer. The white storks congregate in flocks of hundreds. They no longer return to their nests, but roam the territory, eating and sleeping together until they finally set off southwards.